Hi everybody, it's Mrs. C from Room 10, and I am going to read you a story today about a superhero named Michael who wants everyone to recycle. What does that mean, recycle? It's kind of a big word, right? Well, it basically means that we can take some of our garbage and send it to a recycling center, a special place, and they can transform it and change it and make it into something new. So I'm gonna show you a few kinds of materials that can be recycled. You ready? Okay, here's the first one. Paper or cardboard, right? This is just the inside of paper towels, right? This is the holder, I see you. This can be recycled. You can also recycle plastic. Lots of plastic can be recycled too. You can also recycle glass as well as cans, right? Instead of taking these types of things and throwing them in your garbage can, you can rinse them out and you can put them in a recycling bin in your house. I wonder, does anyone have a recycling bin in their house? You might. Well, when we do this and we put them in our recycling bin and they get sent to a recycling center to be changed and transformed and used again and made into something new, that really helps our planet because we have less garbage. So let's see what Michael Recycle has to say. Michael Recycle, written by Ellie Bethel and illustrated by Alexandra Colombo. There once was a town called Aberdu Rhymey where garbage was left to grow rotten and slimy. It never smelled fresh, the air was all hazy, but the people did nothing. They got rather lazy. And then something happened that none could explain. It wasn't a bird and it wasn't a plane. A green caped crusader soared through the air with a colander hat on top of his hair. He bounced off the earth with a thump and a bump and then landed head first in the town garbage dump. He brushed off his suit as he jumped to his feet and grinned at the townsfolk who he'd come to meet. I'm Michael Recycle, and I have a plan, but I need your help, everyone to a man. The sky and the river are smelly and brown. Soon 50-foot bugs will take over your town. You've got to recycle. You've got to act soon, before all your trash reaches up to the moon. Then crushing a can, he gave them a wink and vanished from sight before they could blink. Miss Mooncotch exclaimed to her friend, Mr. Crew, did you happen to hear what that boy said to do? Clean up and recycle, how hard can it be? A green and clean town would be lovely to see. They recycled their paper, their plastic and cans, and even old junk like used pots and pans. They also began the Be Greener campaign they grew their own kumquats and saved up the rain. So proud was the town of their green transformation, they threw a great party, a grand celebration. They covered the town in green toilet paper, then rolled it back up to use again later. You may think that's yucky, but these folks don't agree. In Aberdu Rhymey, recycling is key. When Michael came back to visit the town, he didn't despair, get angry, or frown. For everything looked so clean and brand new, the sky and the river were again a bright blue. Look at our town, it gleams and it glitters. Now nothing's wasted and nobody litters. To Michael Recycle, the green caped crusader, our super green hero, the planet's new savior. But Michael Recycle was nowhere around. He'd already moved on to help the next town. So if you should see a green silhouette streaking the skies, please don't get upset. The noises you hear, that clunk and that thunk. It's just our friend Michael recycling old junk. The end.
To save energy, turn off any electronic equipment you're not using, like the TV and the computer. You can also help our planet by turning the faucet off when you're brushing your teeth. Never leave the water running. Another way to save some water and help our planet is by taking shorter showers. Mmm, unless you're really, really smelly. I hope you guys enjoyed the story, and I hope that you can also find some ways that you can help our planet at home. See what you can recycle. Okay, bye.